Hi guys, Bruce here. So, this one was brought in by another friend of mine, ex-coworker. And don't forget, in my company where I worked, there used to be 500 of us and now there's only 60. But we still, some of us still keep in touch with each other. So my buddy John brought this in. And it's a five horsepower. I found this sticker inside the bag. <laughs> Quantum five horsepower. Wow, wow. And uh, he brought it to me because he said the uh, self, no, yes, the self propel won't engage. Uh, and I had a look underneath, I'll show you uh, later on what, what, what's going on there. But we're just going to have a couple of look, a look at a couple of things before we get smoke and fire. Quantum. My favorite lawnmower. So this one, I checked the date, was made in 1993. So it's 31 years old. And that filter is ready for replacement, right? You can't see light through it or anything like that. It has oil. It's got all the buttons and whistles. Multi-speed drive. There's the drive and gauge. This is the brake, and look at this thing here. This 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 thing right here. It's kind of cool. I think it's homemade, but it's done well. Look at that. Have anybody seen one of those before? Like usually people just make up, you know, an old sock or something to do that. And then over here, uh, the, the cable's not seized, but the there used to be a stick sticking right up right up off of there and you could go high high rev slow rev right like that so I don't know what I'm gonna do there it's dirty it's as ugly as a mud fence but it's red so it's gonna look a lot different in shot too so uh, now that we're halfway home I'm gonna just put a little bit of two stroke 50 to 1 mix inside there and we're gonna see if we get fire here, this is the this is what I use for for priming engines, but all it is is uh, 50 to 1 gas oil. Let's just bend that out. Squirt. Okay. It's gonna go. Throttle must be turned on low. But that's good. Engine goes round and round. I am gonna just uh, grab a pair of pliers and go the other way with it. See if it revs any faster next time. Okay, there's a little cylinder knock there. But I think that'll go away. Alright, so let's put a little bit of fuel into John. Where'd you go? I just want to see if I can first of all use the primer. And if the primer squirts, then it should start. I'm almost out of fuel. It's leaking out in the front because I squirted it, but it's not leaking from the carburetor. Hey, okay, now let's see if it starts up. Excuse me. Saying excuse me to a camera. Thank you. 
Hi guys, I'm back. Well, before we start getting into the drive on this one, uh, I'm going to just take the spark plug out and have a look at it. Alright. Huh. You know what, it's, it's almost cleaner on the inside than it is on the outside. So I'm just going to leave it for now and until we get to the tune-up stage. It runs, right? And, you saw it running just a few minutes ago. I let it run a little bit after I turned off the camera and the uh, blue smoke's getting lighter. So I'm just suspecting that there's a little bit of oil in the muffler. It's been sitting for a long time. Okay, so now uh, my next adventure I think is to see if we have any uh, wheel drive. It does click. If you can hear this. Right? And then it's really quite hard to pull back. But that's okay. Let's get this bag off of here. We don't need it just yet, but it kind of gets in the way. And uh, I'm going to just tilt this thing back. This one uses the, uh, the double pulley like a snow blower or like a snowmobile where it uses the two V's of the pulley to tighten up the belt. So here we go, we're gonna maybe we'll disconnect the spark plug just to be safe, eh? Try the center bolt, it's 5 eighths. I think it should be taken apart and greased anyway. This might not work. It might. Oh, yeah, it's coming off. Oh, it's spline, eh? The blade looks in good shape though. So we can just sharpen that. Okay, that's an interesting... I haven't seen one of these for a long time. So the blade adapter stayed on the blade and that shaft is splined. So that would be a very expensive thing to break, that blade adapter. I'm just looking right now. Can you see that guys? Okay, so I'm trying to take this this cover off. It's almost there. This one's a 5 16 So that one was 7 16 This one was 3 8 and that one was 5 16 So it's been worked on before. Here we go. Okay. needs more. You see this belt, this pulley tightens up against this pulley, creating a, a tighter wear, right? But this shaft is really, really corroded. Everything's just a little rusty as well. Have a look at it. You'll get the idea. The belt goes up in there, around there, and then this goes on top of there, 
right? And that squeezes on the belt, right? Between the belt goes between there and there. But I just have to make sure that that is the right, that is the correct belt, eh? Hmm. There. Seems like the right one. I'm squeezing the uh, application arm together for the speed control out here. You see that moving nice now? Can I do that? Well, anyway, right there. It's moving better, but it still isn't gliding, eh? I think this... All right. I'd love to get that little pulley off there just because I can. So that's a lot how a lot of the skidoos work. I don't know if they work like that anymore because I haven't worked on a skidoo for years. But some of the MTD riding tractors have a similar setup on the big on the big pulley coming out of the motor and it squishes down instead of using a, a an electric clutch. So anyway, I'm just gonna get my act together and I'll come back. Okay, so there's our lawnmower. Pardon me. So there's our lawnmower. This lever is pulled, this one here is pulled down and then that whole arm rocks and pushes the pulley out. So first we'll do it this way, right? Are you with me? It's not much, eh? And then we come in here and we do it again. You see that move? So I think it's just mostly dry. This does not come off unless this bracket here, there, and there comes out. And that's, that's just a little too much disassembly. But I am going to try and grease it. Whoop. I am going to try and grease it here, here, in behind this uh, pulley disc, friction disc, I guess it's called and around this side and onto this uh, pivot point right there. So I'll bring you back when I'm close to having that done. All right, folks. Now I don't want much grease in behind that ring, but I'm gonna do it first. I got some grease on a, on a, oops, I got some grease on a knife. Put a little bit of grease up in there. Very small now, and I'm going to rotate the engine. Okay, and then we're going to wipe it off because I don't want the grease on the other side of the pulley face, right? But I want it to slip. When you weren't looking, I did squirt a little bit of silicone grease into here. Whoa, baby! The smallest amount on that spine. And wipe the excess off. Or no, just wipe it in, maybe. It's not much, eh? And then we come in here. Look at that. That's a beautiful thumb. Now we're going to do it again on this guy. Now with that tension, it should spin the, should try and spin the wheels, eh? I think that's going to work. Oh, I was just going to Put this cover back on and uh, blade the three bolts, and that should do it. And then we'll do a functional test. Okay. 
Yeah, it's moving forward. Man, dummies. Good. Okay. Well, I'm just going to regroup here and I'll come back. Alright, I'm back working on the tough turf power. Sorry, turf power. And uh, I just poured the gas out of it. And uh, I've cleaned up underneath the deck as best I can. This is a heavy thing, eh? And I'm going to just jack it up for you. And I'll get you centered in a minute. I'm going to just look at the plug. This could be an original plug as well. I like that. And I tend to reuse them if they're that way. Well, and there's no paint on it, but it is in pretty good shape. Let's go to macro. Looks pretty good now. I'm going to use it. It likes it. Plug is done. The blade is the blade sharp enough. Let me just have another look at that. And then I'm gonna put the guards back on. Alright. Turf power. Quantum engine. I don't know how old it is. I think it's old. Almost 30 years old. And uh so new air filter. Cleaned plug, but a good old RJ19LM. Blade's good. The oil needs to be changed. I'm just going to warm it up and do that right now, so we might as well check and see how well it fires. Let's get the rest of the oil out of here. I got about half of it already. I thought, oh, I better go get the camera. Well, let's see if we can get any more with the smaller hose. Not really.
See you later. Okay, it's all done. Oh, <laughs> I gotta put this back on. It's not all done. Happens in the best of families. I should have a car pin here. And yeah, a pair of pliers. For watching this I just glued the sticker on there and uh, that was the completion thanks a lot